What a glorious day for spinnaker sailing. We have 6.2 knots of wind and uh, with the spinnaker we are doing 4.3 over the ground, which is very nice. Four point six over the ground on four point nine five knots of true wind speed. That's very, very good. After a full day of glorious downwind sailing I reached Horton Marina where I tied up in one of the guest berths. Unfortunately that was the end of favorable weather for quite a while. A big low pressure came in and stayed over Norway for five days and all I could do was to sit and watch the rain and uh, watch the weather forecasts until finally the weather started to improve. Friday 22nd of September 2023 and I'm finally motoring out of Horton where I've been for five days. I must say five long days because it's been atrocious weather. And I've just been hiding from one uh, gale after another. But today there's a window where I can get a little bit further south. I hope um, to go to uh, Strømstad. Uh, let's see how it develops. The weather forecasts are very... Um, d disagree a lot about what is going to happen. Um, so um, it, it's really less certain than I would like, but uh, uh, it doesn't look dangerous. And it's raining of course, but uh, never mind that, as long as I have good winds, which I do have at the moment. It has stopped raining, almost anyway. And I'm now doing a broad reach, uh, 5.6 knots over the ground on 11 knots of wind. And uh, it will be really nice if it continue like this for some hours because I really want to go south. Uh, I'm thinking of passing Strømstad, which was my original destination, and continuing down to Fjellbakke. It's another 20 nautical miles just to get me that extra bit south. I'm now pretty much out of Oslo Fjord, and uh, here on uh, the starboard side I have uh, Slip Odden and another little island here, uninhabited islands but still with a few fishing nets uh, close by the coast. Beautiful though. Two o'clock in the afternoon, Friday, and uh, the uh, rain is really gone now. The deck is dry. I have passed by Strømstad because I decided I wanted to use this favorable following wind get the most out of it after having been stuck for five days. So um, I'm now continuing towards Fjellbakke and uh, I should arrive 7.30 tonight. In fact the, um, the forecasts are now sufficiently good that I'm seriously considering 
continuing through the night and gets a good number of miles in. Um, I'll have some upwind sailing in 9, 10 to, nine to 10 meters per second, but um, not for very long. So, and then it'll go down to a moderate breeze. So I'm tempted to do it. Let me sail for another couple of hours and then make the decision. Friday afternoon at five o'clock. <clears throat> I've passed the uh, field back now, so uh, the dice is called uh, cast. I'm sailing into the night. Uh, this will be interesting. Lively, perhaps. I have um, one reef in the mainsail, a reef in the Genoa, and uh, we have uh, a bit over 14 knots of wind, varies a bit, and we're doing uh, 7.5 knots over the ground, which is really good. Six PM Friday, and I'm doing a beam reach with uh, 16 knots of true wind speed, and we're doing uh, 7.5 uh, through the water. We have a bit of counter current now, so we're doing uh, 6.4 over the ground. But still, good progress. Friday, quarter to eight at night. The sun has set. We now have a lovely half moon to enjoy for about an hour, I think it is. Good morning, Phantom Shipmates. Saturday, 3.35 in the morning. I came in to uh, Björn Holmen Little Marina. Uh, 50 minutes ago I had to uh, give up going uh, as far south as I wanted because the wind died and I had <laughs> three knots of current against me so uh, I was struggling even to stand still so in the end I looked up <coughs> the possibilities for a reserve harbour and I found this little marina uh, well hidden between the scaries uh, so I'm lying very comfortably here and uh, it's probably very beautiful. Um, I'll find out tomorrow morning. It was a bit complicated getting in here, but uh, thanks to the chat plotter, it wasn't uh, really difficult. Um, <clears throat> so now I'm going to have, I've had a shower, warm shower using the warm water from the engine I used uh, for the last one and a half hours of the trip after the wind died to get through the current. So I've had my shower and I'm uh, now going to have a little snack with some uh, tea and uh, breakfast cereal and an apple. And then I'm going to hit the sack. I sailed 102 nautical miles on the GPS and 114 uh, through the water and my log under reach so it's probably more like 120 so there was a lot of uh, current in, in the last bit of the trip and the difficulty is uh, to avoid the current you can avoid the current if you go close to land but doing that at night is not smart because there are fishing buoys that are unmarked and it's pure luck if you don't hit one. So um, I stayed well off the coast and of course then I got the strong current against me. So what I learned from this is that when I want to go down the Swedish coast uh, I should do it in the daytime only. So I can go close to the coastline and uh, uh, see the uh, unmarked fish, fishing boys. 
So I learned that. Um, no harm done. Saturday, 23rd of uh, September. I have now woken up after a good long sleep. It's 11 a.m. And uh, this is where we ended up last night, Bjorn Holman Marina. It's uh, a modern development with a, actually quite a nice marina, but there are no shops here. So um, I can't do any provisioning. And since I'm I have no bread and I'm low on various foodstuffs, so I think I shall have to find some other place to go to. But I'm glad I was able to get in here safely last night. Saturday afternoon, 4.30. I have now slept and feel pretty rested. And uh, I've been looking at options for going further south towards home. Uh, I was surprised yesterday by the amount of current I encountered. I had seen in the forecast up to 1.4 knots of counter current, but I had three knots of counter current for hours. And uh, when I look at the uh, Windy's uh, projections for currents, um, they still have this circular pattern around uh, Skeirak, which uh, works against me still a little bit and I've been uh, thinking about how to deal with this uncertainty not knowing exactly how much counter current I'm going to get so um, I've decided to try what I'll call the Eric Underall approach those of you who watch uh, Eric's videos can sort of guess what I allude to and for those of you who don't um, well uh, the essence is to look for plenty of wind and power right through it. <laughs> uh, so um, it so happens that there's going to be a, a fresh, perhaps strong breeze tonight uh, from the west. So to go south, I might be able to get a really nice beam reach, um, true wind that is a uh, close reach true uh, apparent wind uh, which is something Kaka quite likes and then I'm going to try to um, power through it and uh, perhaps not just to manage expectations uh, it's all going to be at night so there won't be any uh, there won't be any filming probably um, and uh, also, I do sail relatively conservatively um, in strong winds, so I try to uh, reach a heel of 20 degrees and preferably no more because that's what the boat is designed for optimally. So I just reef down and reef down and reef down until I get a heel of 20 degrees. That also reduces the uh, windward, the weather helm on the rudder, which is uh, good, both for speed and for the wind pilot. Um, so, um, of course, the, the issue can be if you have big waves, you need a lot of power in the sails to get through it. And likewise, if you have a lot of current, you may have to put more uh, sail up than I would normally do. Uh, so that'll be really interesting to see uh, how that pans out. I should uh, uh, I'm heading south and uh, I hope to arrive the Danish island of Anholt tomorrow morning. Yes, this will be fun. Saturday, quarter to seven at night. I'm out of the marina now. And uh, we have 20 knots of wind on the beam. I've filled out a little bit of Genoa here, that's all for now. We are doing 6.5 through the water and 5 knots over the ground. So we do have the counter current, but we do have enough power to go through it. So this uh, looks very promising. And I just have another 81 nautical miles to sail like this, and then I should be in an end But lots of things can happen before then. Fingers crossed.
Good morning, friends of shipmates. It's uh, Sunday at 7 o'clock in the morning, at which time we have sunrise, although we can't actually see the sun just yet. But uh, uh, it's been uh, quite a lively night here with 20 to 24 knots of wind. So definitely more the sport, sport section than the cruising section. But um, Kaka handles it well. And I've just sailed on with the same configuration I, I used when I left. Just changed, changed the tension on the sheet, of course, depending on the wind angle. And uh, the wind pilot has done a marvelous job. Grew up. or at least this kind of windy, a strong breeze, gives it lots of power. So that's good. Approaching Anholt. It is uh, around 20 past nine, Sunday morning, and we have glorious sunshine. Wonderful. What a magnificent journey. In the summertime, Anholt is normally jam-packed with boats, but on this day, I think we were about six sailors in the entire marina. Monday morning! 25 knots of wind and a knot. I think I'll stay in Harbour today. Good morning, Phantom Shipmates. Today is Tuesday, 26th of September 2023. And uh, after a very strong breeze all day yesterday, the wind uh, the speed reduced. And uh, during the night and this morning, we have a gentle breeze from the south. So I've decided to sail south to uh, try to reach Kilalai today. The wind forecast for today is uh, starting out with a gentle breeze, which is what I have now, from a southerly direction that fits. The general direction I want to go is from Anhalt to Kilalai is uh, southeasterly. So with a southern course I can almost make it starboard tack um, down to Gilalaya. But according to the forecasts, the um, wind is going to back during the day and maybe this wind speed will increase from a gentle breeze to a moderate breeze. So therefore what uh, I expect will happen is that I will tack down on the starboard tack uh, and then when the wind is, has backed sufficiently I will, I will tack again and then on port tack uh, head down towards Gilalai with the back of the wind gradually giving me more and more south of the course. So that's uh, the famous seagull shoot that the uh, racers on the ocean use. And uh, it's, it's great fun when you, when you hit one of those curves uh, precisely. We shall see how it goes. I love these tactical positions. Tuesday afternoon. I have now completed the seagull exercise I hope to complete and uh, I'm uh, well on my way to Gilalai but the breeze is uh, quite nice. Uh, a gentle breeze and uh, it's not going to be as nice tomorrow according to the forecast so I think I'll continue past Gilalai 
um, towards um, Helsingør. Maybe even home, we'll see how the wind and the current develops. But um, uh, it would be a shame to waste this nice uh, breeze now that it's here. I've just arrived, um, not at Gililai, because when I got to Gililai, there was still a nice breeze. So I thought, oh, let me proceed maybe to Helsingør. So I went to Helsingør and when I was there, there was still an okay breeze and the forecast for even a bit more breeze. So I said, oh, let me pass Kronborg and sail south. So um, that's what I did. So I'm now back at Skorshoved. The uh, voyage is over. I'm just doing the logbook. I've sailed altogether 1,181 nautical miles since I left on the 15th of August. It's been a fantastic, fantastic trip. Really nice. And I'm glad to be home safe and sound.